yesterday we went for a four wheel drive out up in the mountains and I was able to put to test some of my equipment so two of them would be my tire deflator and my air compressor so I just want to clarify that um, this is not a sponsor uh, review I bought these items with my own money so yeah let's get to it on my other video we air down the tire to 25 psi using the XTM um, tire deflator so sorry for the mess I haven't cleaned up car yet and so still messy yeah so we're off I'm going to get my other compressor this is my old compressor <clears throat> yep so this is my old compressor my old compressor came out with my old car so I just use it since then I just modified some of the cords because um, for safety issue like the coatings are starting to peel off so I just modified it then just to replace the cords so I'm going to try this one first and um, time it so that we know we have a baseline how which of the two is better so all right let's crack on so currently um, we've got a Japanese instruction the gauge is pretty different like you got the kPa and a kilogram per centimeter square reading as compared like I base it on my PSI but I, this one also have a kPa the other function of this it can deflate the tire with this button and the fitting is almost it's a twisting type for the tire valve we're going to air it from 25 psi to 35 psi and put it on timer all right one two one two three Yep, so we are now sitting at 240 kPa at um, 2 minutes 19 seconds. I'm going to use a tire deflator to check the tire pressure. So the gauge the gauge in the um, on the is not accurate as with this one so I'm still sitting at 33 33 psi so I'm still So the box contains this care case. So my um, tire deflator comes with also a pouch, but it's just waste of space. So I just like to put them together so I know where to find it. So it con. So these are the contents. I got the high pressure hose tubing with a gauge and the deflator at the back also I got the whole oh, the whole um, item so I got the leads and got the safety device 
Yep. So I got a 60 ampere fuse inside just to prevent it in, in, in case that something happened. So it got some extra fittings, this and that, and a quick release, and then you got the nice base, da 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 and the switch so the switch would be one of the disadvantage of this item because to cut the long story short i'll just simply demonstrate it the tire compressor are powered directly through the battery using this leads so this comes with a uh, quick release fitting We we'll just need to push this back and insert and release. Make sure it's well fitted. This is just a rubber rubber protector, I don't know. Alright, now we're ready to go. This would be the number one disadvantage for me of this um, air compressor because the switch is on the main body itself. So yeah, all sorted out. I got this long tubing and we'll just need to inflate and try to put on a timer. So we're just going to put this thing first. Above 5 PSI reading. How's that? Alright, so my target would be sitting around in between 25, 30, 35, almost to almost 40 just in between um 30 to 40. ready one two three go at this point i need to count one two three go and one two three stop to turn on and turn off the machine because i don't have the control over it since the switch is on the main body which is in the front of the car Stop. So we are now sitting at um, just above 35. So what are so we're going to do to check it again with the tire inflator gauge. So we are sitting at 36 PSI, so that is way better than the Honda. So I hope um, this video give you a good insight on um, how good is the XTM air compressor. Thank you for watching and see you again.